Hey guys, this is a quick video in which I'm going to talk about subnet masks, or net masks for short. A subnet mask is a manner in which we can determine if a computer is on the same subnetwork as our computer. So we'll start by looking at my IP configuration. You can see here that my computer is assigned the IP address 192.168.0.108 and it's assigned a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. If we look at this little spreadsheet I've put together where I've taken the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and converted it to its binary equivalent which is 24 ones followed by eight zeros then we can use this to determine how large our network is and whether or not a computer is on the same subnetwork. So let's start off by the concept of what this 255, 255, 255, 0 represents. The way you look at a subnet mask is you look at every bit that has been turned on or set to 1 and you realize that those bits represent values that cannot change from one computer to the next on the subnetwork. So for example, my IP address 192.168.0.108, the first 24 bits look like this. I won't read them out to you. But every computer on my subnetwork must have this same sequence of bits at the beginning of its address in order to be on the same subnetwork. What that means is the remaining eight bits, in other words, in the subnet mask, wherever we see zeros, the remaining eight bits can change from one computer to the next. So by jumping over the calculator, we can do a little math and find out a couple of interesting things about our subnetwork. So since we know that there's two possible values for each bit, a quick math formula will tell us how many computers are on our subnetwork, or at least how many addresses there are that are on our subnetwork. So we do that by taking the number 2, since there's two possible values, raising it to a power, and that power is the number of bits that can change, in this case 8. So 2 to the 8th would tell us that there are 256 possible addresses on our subnetwork. And if you think about it, that makes sense because if the last eight bits can change, then that means the lowest possible number you would have on our network would be 192.168.0.0, and it would go all the way up to 192.168.0.255. In the first case, it would be all zeros for zero, and in the second case, it would be all ones for a value of 255. So now that we know we can look at a subnet mask, convert it to binary, see how many zeros there are, and use that to determine the size of the network, let's see how we can compare two IP addresses to determine if they are on the same subnetwork based on the subnet mask. So. For example, I have my IP address converted to binary here, and I'm going to take another IP address, in this case 192.168.1.109, convert it to binary, and get these sequence of values. Now I can compare it to my subnet mask and determine if they're on the same subnetwork. I do that by starting with each bit and going across and stopping when the first bit is different. And you can see that illustrated in this highlight here. The first 23 bits are the same, but once I get to this 24th bit, my IP address has a 0, the other IP address has a 1. So I know that the first 23 bits match. Now if I look at my subnet mask, I see that the first 24 bits have a value of 1 or are turned on. 
that means that on my subnetwork, the first 24 bits must be the same. So comparing this, I realized that the second ad IP address is not on the same subnetwork as my IP address because the first 24 bits do not match.